Hey guys, I'm taking a little break from the wood shop this week and getting started on some home renovation projects. So my plan is to redo our living room, kitchen, dining room area here over the next little while and I'm starting with the floors. So I got carpet here in the living room and then over in the kitchen, it's just kind of like a hodgepodge. Uh, the previous homeowners had some of these laminated planks put in just right over the top of the original linoleum. So I wanna do the same flooring throughout the whole space. So I gotta tear out the carpet, gotta tear out uh, the planks and the linoleum and get everything down to one flat surface and then start laying the new floors. So that's gonna kinda of kick off this whole, whole renovation uh, process and let's get started. Now that I have all the old floors out, the next step is to check and make sure that these subfloors are flat and level. Now, depending on the type of floors you're installing, you'll have different tolerances and requirements, but it's usually written on the handy dandy instruction sheet that comes with flooring. So I just read through this, um, got the tolerances, how much our subfloor can vary for this type of flooring, and I'm just working my way across and making sure that I'm meeting all those requirements. Now a laser level would be a great tool for this, but I don't own one, so I'm actually just using my regular level and then um, two buckets with a piece of string on them. So the very first thing I did was I've worked my way in small sections across the floor with the level and made sure that our floors are just level in general. So now I can go through and I'm going to tie the piece of string to the same spot on both these buckets. And these are pretty heavy so I can pull the string taut but they also have these nice lines on them just from the, the label markings. So I can make sure that my string is at the same height on both buckets. I'm gonna pull it across the floor and then I can measure any high or low spots based on how much the floor varies relative to that string that's across it. So I'm just gonna work my way in sections across this whole floor, make sure that everything is pretty flat and level, no major high or low spots and go from there. all the patches are dry and I made sure all these plywood subfloor boards are nailed down nice and secure so let's get this show on the road. So I got the first row down here. Now with these floors, you don't have to rip any of this first row. With some floors, you end up having to rip them a little narrower so you don't get a super narrow spot at the end. But with these, you can just start laying them with full width planks. So I got this first row down and I got to the end over here. And to do your ends where you run into the walls, what you wanna do is you wanna measure the width of plank that you're gonna need on the end and cut it out of a full-sized plank. So now I can take this leftover piece that I cut that end from and start my next row. So we'll just take this down and start laying the next row. I have a little helper here today, so that'll make things go quicker. <laughs> All right, so depending on if you end up with like a really small piece at the end, you might do um, some different cuts so you don't get like a really narrow piece at the end and then end up with a super long one here. But that's all written in the installation instructions and those will be included with your flooring. Thank you. 
Thanks for following along with the project this week, guys. The flooring was a major undertaking and a big part of this kind of main living space renovation that I'm working on right now. So really happy to have that one done. Now, if you follow me on Instagram or over on my website, you know I'm a little bit behind on YouTube videos right now. So we've actually been living with these floors for a couple months, uh, if that gives you any idea how far behind I am. But we've had them for a while and have been really impressed. So these are engineered hardwoods. Um, this is the Bruce Hydropel brand from Home Depot. And this is their um, natural hickory color. So uh, we used to have the laminated veneer planks in the kitchen and we actually have life proof laminated veneer planks in the bathroom. And that's great flooring also, um, it's, it's been good to us. But we did notice or have noticed a difference uh, between quality with the uh, laminated planks versus these engineered hardwoods. So uh, both great options, but if you're looking for a recommendation on hardwoods, uh, we have really liked these uh, Bruce Hydropel engineered hardwoods. So um, that said, they're a little bit more difficult to install than the laminated veneer planks because they're thicker. Um, they're like three eighths of an inch thick and so they do not have any give in them. So it was a little bit more challenging uh, working especially through our hallway trying to get it under the existing door jams but we were able to make it work and it was definitely worth it so would definitely recommend this and that is going to wrap up the floors for this week and I'll be back next time with the next piece of this renovation.